This fight now is not just my fight. This is a national fight because this really could affect any one of us at any point in time. Everybody out that's not here today, this could affect them as well. We, we do have to continue making this fight and standing for, for our families, for our children, our loved ones, our, our elderly, our disabled. We, we have to make this fight for everybody in Canada. Things are changing drastically, really quickly within our, within our country when it comes to the justice and the correctional systems. And we need to make this change, like drastically. Everybody here and everybody out there knows my story when it comes to Victoria. Victoria was abducted 10 years ago today. It's very, very disheartening to know that a decade later, I'm standing in front of the Canadian government trying to get justice still for Victoria. My struggles with the justice system started in 1985. Um, my six-week-old daughter was murdered and raped by her bio dad. Um, his excuses were that he had been abused and uh, he plea bargained from first degree to second degree and um, ultimately he did receive day parole. Uh, he reoffended, and they let him out again last month. Information isn't being given to victims um, or notifying the public of this killer um, rapist uh, pedophiles release and, and that also should be unacceptable um, it creates unsafe uh, communities and you know potentially further victimizes other people I wouldn't want um, anybody else to be harmed by this uh, violent individual